Hello, this is Amartya Roy, Assistant Professor, Department of Electrical Engineering, Larki Memorial Institute of Technology, Kolkata. Now, today I am discussing Illumination Engineering. In my last class, I have discussed um, road lighting and visual characteristics, etc. So, this is a completely different topic. I am discussing today over here. This is daylighting and daylight. Day light and daylighting. Both are completely different to word daylight and daylighting. Daylight means the light which comes from sun, sky etc. So, this is dynamic in nature. Main point, daylight is dynamic in nature. Suppose in your room at 10 am in a particular position of your room at 10 am how much light comes and in 12 am, 12, 12 noon, the light is different. In 3 pm, light is different. In season to season, light is different. So, daylight is continuously change. Every minute daylight is change. So, this is nature is dynamic. But in case of artificial light, the nature is static. That means, in night time, at 7 pm, all the lights in a room, suppose two lights, two fluorescent lamp is there, it's on condition, how much light in a particular point of that room is same at 9 pm, it's same also at 10 pm, 11 pm, 12 am, etc. Because the lumen output comes from a particular artificial lamp, it's fixed. But in case of daylight, this is very much different and this is very dynamic. So, dynamic in nature, second point is daylight is free. Daylight is free, we is available 7 8 hours freely. We cannot you uh, spend any money to get daylight, it is free. And this is a very good advantage and one disadvantage also when daylight comes in our room, he comes with another parameter that is heat. Heat and light always comes together. So we can discuss here what is daylight and how can we predict daylight. So, before going to daylight briefly, we want to know how many types of sky are there. There is three types of sky. First one is clear sky. Then one is overcast sky. And third one is intermediate sky. So, there is a three types of sky. This is clear sky, overcast means there is a cloudy and mixed. Clear and overcast, this mixed is intermediate sky. In my today's topic, we want to discuss the prediction of daylight in a room using daylight factor method. Daylight factor. So, daylight factor method is a tool to predict daylight in a room in a particular point and it is it is feasible only for overcast sky no not clear sky nor intermediate sky it is depends it is designed using only overcast sky if overcast sky is present then we can use this daylight factor tool 
So daylight factor is percentage of df is equal to ep and est into 100 percent. What is ep and what is ext? Suppose this is a room, this is a window and this is a working plane. If we want to know how much light is come from daylight that is EP that is illuminance at that point and this is EP and EST is equal to EST is equal to the in same plane in same plane outside the room that point outside the room that is EST external external illuminance. Now suppose this is a room this is a window and this point P point. Now how much light comes here? This, this type of light comes from direct sky component so using this window the daylight is comes yes this is sky component another point is suppose this is the external building over here the light comes from light comes from this direction that is external component e x t external reflected component that is 2 and another is and another is internally reflected component suppose this is suppose this is, this is internally reflect component that is 3 i r c so total lux value at that point e p is equal to e SC that means sky component plus E external reflected component that is from external building plus E internal reflected component total EP is equal to. Now we can divide this equation by EST. So what is we get? Suppose EP by EST, EST into 100 percent is equal to ESC by EST into 100 percent plus e ERC by EST into 100 percent plus E IRC EST into 100 percent. Now EP by EST into 100 percent that means percentage of DF that is daylight factor. So percentage of DF is equal to this term we can write SC sky component plus external reflected component plus internal reflected component. So this is the daylight factor. So this is the tool we can design the daylight using this daylight factor. Now what is daylighting? Daylighting is very interesting important from for today's aspect because daylight is free and too much energy is conserved due to daylighting. 
सपोज वी कैन इजिली डन वेरी एनर्जी एफिशियंट प्रोजेक्ट ड्यूजिंग ड्यूरिंग यूजिंग दिस डे लाइटिंग कॉन्सेप्ट सपोज यूज स्टे इन ए रूम दिस इज रूम दिस इज योर विंडो दिस इज योर विंडो both daylight has comes from this direction this direction using this type of concept external reflected internal reflected etc in your room there is this artificial light that is tube light so for suppose this room is designed for reading purpose so for reading purpose 300 lux is sufficient for a 30 years old uh, students so we can uh, uh, place a sensor daylight sensor or light sensor here and this light sensor sense the how much light is present here if this daylight is greater than 300 then a controller will be there this signal going to this controller and controller decide this type of light on or off if we done this type of project then the, that type of project must be very energy efficient project so this is the part of inner uh, this is the part of day lighting and uh, if we, when we design day lighting that time we follow the interior lighting guidelines that is indian standard is 3646 in this standard they mention how much light is required for kitchen for corridor for lift for reading room etc so we have to follow this and using lumen formula we can calculate how much light lamp are needed and then that we can dim or on off that type of lamp using this daylight concept this is a sensor and controller and this load this is a closed loop system there must be there must be a open loop system also but open loop system is very easier there is a timer so we set a timer at 6 am to 4 pm there is no artificial light we can program that type of system that is the open loop system when 6 am that type all the light off then 4 pm all the lights on after 4 pm but this type of system is very easy system but the not robust system robust means some error will be there the error uh, is suppose overcast sky suppose uh, rainy season the uh, cloudy sky that time the lux value is decreases suppose it decreases less than 300 lux but that time the light can't on because the programming is this so for system will be robust we can design closed loop system that when when this data say this is less than 300 lux the light must be on when the data say this is less than 3 greater than 300 light will be off there some other parameter also there when the, if there is a no uh, occupant present in the room that time this can follow we can save energy we design this and we can waste our energy because there is no occupant in the room that time light also on so there must be a light uh, occupant counter will be there the counter count if room is vacant or full or any occupant is present or not that time this light will be on or off so this concept is called day lighting so using day light we can design any lighting that is called day lighting and day light is very dynamic in nature it changes time to time season to season day by day if today the date is 16th april at 
ऑब्टेन एम हाउ मच लाइट प्रेजेंट इन दिस पोजिशन ऑफ ए डोम द सेवेंटीन एप्रिल एट टेन एम दिस मस्ट बी चेंज इन एटीन एप्रिल दिस मस्ट बी चेंज द डे लाइट चेंज एवरी टाइम एवरी टाइम सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ इल्यूमिनेशन इंजीनियरिंग दैट इज डे लाइटिंग सो वी कैन डिजाइन वी कैन डिस्कस ए डे लाइट फैक्टर वॉट इज डे लाइट फैक्टर डे लाइट फैक्टर इज अ टूल वी कैन डिजाइन द डे लाइट हाउ मच डे लाइट प्रेजेंट इन ए रूम इन ए पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट दैट इज ई पी पर द इल्यूमिनेस एट पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट and est that is illuminance and the same plane of that particular point outside of the room that is here now there are three types of mainly light comes from uh, in a room in a particular point of daylight that is directly skylight from sky this is the externally reflected component this is internally reflected component and the total illuminance p is equal to illuminance from externally component in a sky component illuminance from externally component illuminance from internally component now we can divide both the side by est into 100% and we can get daylight factor is sky component plus external reflected component plus internally reflected component so that's all thank you